talk about the small intestine histology and I'm gonna start with the duodenum. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine and the most characteristic feature is the presence of Brunner's glands or the submucosal mucous glands. Also the we note that the intestine of the lie are present. The intestine of the lie may be transversely or longitudinally cut and these are Brunner's glands. These two features are the main features on which we diagnose uh, the present this that this is the duodenum. Also, we know the plica circularis, which is a folding of the submucosa and the mucosa without the musculosa. So we will know that we have a tube in here. It has a musculosa, a submucosa, and a mucosa. The second thing is the ileum. The most characteristic feature of the ileum is the presence of the submucosal uh, lymphatic aggregation, known as Thayer's patches, just under the mucosa and the muscularis mucosa, of course. These uh, lymphatic aggregations they should be basophilic in here, but since but since there is an increased eosinophilia in this slide due to the stains, we will see it as eosinophilic. Also, the intestine of the lie are noted to be uh, shorter and uh, not not as long as those found in the uh, duodenum. See that the duodenum is the third part. The duodenum is mainly diagnosed by exclusion, which means that it doesn't contain the species structures found in other parts. It doesn't contain the uh, mucous glands, the Brunner's glands, or the lymphatic aggregations. Here we see intestine of the lie cut transversely. And these are longitudinally cut the lie with the crypts of Lieberkin. As we are going to see, we will not see any species structures in here. Here is the musculosa and the submucosa, no species structure no glands, no uh, lymphatic aggregations. Well, uh, this is all for the small intestine histology and thank you very much.